Boy, just a fantastic evening uh, underway across Southeast Texas. It's been a fantastic day as we're looking at clear skies down to 63 now over at the Horseman's Western Store in Orange. And we expect below normal temperatures the next few days. Could be about 10 degrees below normal with low temperature. These are the low temperatures here. Normal low is about uh, 57 to 55, and I think we'll be about 10 degrees, 9 to 10 degrees below that coming up tonight. Uh, tomorrow night, a little bit warmer, but still below normal. And then the cold front comes through, and we're back to 9 degrees below normal. But as you can see, as we work through the middle uh, of the week, we start warming up, and then we'll see above normal low temperatures coming up by Thursday and Friday. Similar story as far as the uh, forecast with high temperatures. Below normal temperatures as far as highs coming up Saturday near normal Sunday, then the cold front comes through and we're below normal coming up Monday and Tuesday. Then we'll start to see near or slightly above normal temperatures coming up Thursday and uh, Friday. Clear skies, not much going on with light north to northeast winds. Temperatures near 60 in spots to the low to mid 60s elsewhere. That's pretty much the story across north Texas. However, into central and southwest Texas, temperatures are near 70 to the lower 70s. So not a bad day across the area as high pressure has dominated our area's weather. You can see low clouds, stratocumulus out in the Gulf of Mexico, and with the uh, subtropical jet seeing some high cloudiness coming in off uh, the Pacific. Otherwise, pretty quiet. Again, with that southwest flow, that's where that Pacific moisture is coming in, that southwest wind. Remember, the winds go along these lines. Trough of low pressure, you can see the dip in the upper levels. That's what brings cold weather. And with that dip south, that will drag a cold front through our area. So we do expect a cold front to come on into southeast Texas as we go through Sunday. And you'll feel it coming up Monday and Tuesday. In the tropics, yeah, it's still hurricane season. Unlikely this will be an issue for us. Still, about 285 miles to the south and southwest of San Juan, Puerto Rico in the Eastern Caribbean, we're watching Invest 96L, and it is forecast to head on to the west. Good consensus that this will head towards Honduras or Nicaragua as we head towards midweek. Hurricane Center giving us a high probability of developing into a tropical depression probably this weekend, and then probably tropical storm Ada as we head into uh, the middle part of next week. Otherwise, with water temperatures at 66, that's good for us. We're looking at clear skies tonight. Temperatures will fall right on through the 50s, and I think we could get down into the low to mid 40s in the lakes, mid to upper 40s in the triangle. Then beautiful weather after a chilly start tomorrow. We should see high temperatures under mostly sunny skies, close to about 70. That's perfect in my book. I don't know about yours. On the Gulf. Look at that water temperature, 66. That's good. Looking at mostly smooth seas around a foot tomorrow with an easterly wind at 5 to 10 knots. Our forecast tonight, clear, chilly, and dry. Lows low to mid 40s up in the lakes and in the mid to upper 40s to near 50 in the triangle. Beautiful weather coming up tomorrow. Oh, my goodness. Get out. Please enjoy it. We don't see many like this here. Looking at lots of sun, highs near 70, low humidity. Saturday evening looking fantastic uh, for Halloween. If you've got plans outdoors, temperatures falling from 69 at 5, down to 57 at 9. Don't forget to fall back one hour Sunday morning. Cold front comes in Sunday, and then some chilly mornings coming up Monday and Election Day Tuesday. Speaking of Election Day, the weather should not be an issue. No excuses. Get out and vote. Looking at uh, temperatures chilly in the morning, but rising to near 70 to the lower 70s on Election Day. Then we'll start seeing warming weather conditions. Still dry, though, as we finish out next week.